<laughs> wow. Incredible game. Boston Celtics, Miami Heat. Well, first of all, the Bulls game against the Denver Nuggets. Um, <laughs> that's a tough loss for the Bulls, man. But to me, it was the right call. You know, anytime the ball is going to hit the rim, you know, and you can't touch the ball. And it was a great play by Joe Kim Noah, but definitely it was a, it was a goaltending. And it, I hope these kids out here can't read lips after the game was over with because uh, Coach Thibodeau, <laughs> he wasn't saying some nice things. So it was a good game. I'm just waking up. It's in the morning. So, but uh, congratulations to the Heat, man. I actually watched it. I fell asleep at the right at the end of the game. I was going to make a video last night, but it was um, it was just too loud. I was just too tired. But uh, wow, the Heat. Uh, this is an incredible, incredible basketball team. A very, very special team. Uh, you know, I, I give them all the credit in the world because they had uh, no business winning that game last night, despite Kevin Garnett. I mean, the Celtics came out like gangbusters. Jeff Green was looking like Iceman Gervin. In the first <laughs> quarter and a half, you know, he slowed down a little bit, but then he picked it back up in the second half. And he was unstoppable. He was a man possessed, man. And if Jeff Green can play like that, you know, because this guy's talented, man. He's long. He's got incredible athletic ability. And if he can keep playing like this through the playoffs, the Heat, the heat better watch out. I'm telling you, man. Especially with Kevin Garnett rested up and Paul Pierce and the way Avery Bradley uh, is playing defense, man. These guys are a really, really good team, man. But uh, you got to give the credit to the Heat. Uh, great win, 23 wins in a row. I mean, these guys are doing something that the Bulls never even did. And do I think they can catch the Lakers, uh, you know, record 33 straight wins? I don't know. That's going to be tough. You know, 10 more. That means you got to go on a 10-game winning streak. You know, just to tie them. So that's going to be tough, but we'll see. I don't, I don't play anything past this team the way they're playing right now. They act, they act like, you know, they can't lose. You know, but uh, Jason Terry, um, uh, I don't know if he had a nightmare last night <laughs> when he went to sleep, but uh, I guess that was bittersweet for uh, LeBron James. You know, because Jason Terry, basically, uh, you know what he did in 2011 NBA Finals to LeBron. You know, talked all the junk to him after game three. And then he uh, came out there and, you know, basically lit LeBron James up. And Jason Terry also is, you know, he's just a, he, 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 he talk a lot of junk, man. And he's a taunter, too. You know, he does his little wing thing and he's looking all in your face and talking junk. So when LeBron James did that dunk, the alley-oop over uh, Jason Terry, he dunked it and he looked at him. That was a stupid technical foul, man. I'm sorry. You know, that they shouldn't have called that. I know what their the league is trying to do and everything else, but a big game like that, everybody watching, you know, don't call it technical. I mean, he didn't say one word. And I know what he did. I know he looked at him and went his direction and gave him that look and all that. And everybody knows what that means. He was taunting him. I understand that. But at the end of the day, man, you know, <laughs> you got to get, uh, you got to get out the way, referees, sometimes. You got to let these guys, um, you know, do their thing because Jason Terry, if that was the case, he'd be getting a technical foul almost every time he scores the way he acts, you know. So what LeBron James did compared to what Jason Terry did or does, I think that was a ridiculous call. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. But like I said, congratulations to the Heat and congratulations to the Celtics, man. Even though they did not win the game, and I know we don't count moral victories, um, that was a great, great uh, team effort. And that was a, a message uh, for the Celtics uh, going forward that, hey, we can do this. You know, we can beat the Heat. You know, I don't know if they can or not, but uh, that was it was a great, great game, man. And the Heat had two big double-digit um, deficits they had to overcome, you know. And one in the, in the first quarter, and then in the fourth quarter, they were down by like 13 or something like that. And they came back. So, like I said, man, uh, the Heat are on a mission and I've said this before, they're playing great and they're winning a lot of games, but it doesn't matter right now if they want to win a championship. So, you know, give me your thoughts on the game. Give me your thoughts on the, the Jeff Green and Avery Bradley's defense, uh, the Celtics as a team. Let me know what you guys think about the Heat. And also let me know what you guys think about LeBron James dunk over Jason Terry and the technical foul. 
All right, you guys have a good day today. Talk to you soon.